Today, I've got the pleasure of showing you around one of the most beautifully specified cars I've ever seen. This is a 2022 on a 22 registration Porsche Panamera Sport Turismo Platinum Edition. So the Platinum Edition is always bought out at the end of Porsche's model line. So this is the last of the Panameras before they've literally this week just released the new Panamera. Um, but this is just such a, an incredible specification and we'll walk you around it and point out uh, everything that we can look its cost options over and above a standard platinum edition but the first thing you'll see is this incredible color this is ru copper ruby metallic it's an extremely rare color uh, it's very similar to porsche's amethyst color in fact it's almost identical and the interior combination which you can probably see through the windscreen as well which just sets the car off beautifully we'll tell you what that is as we get around there but starting at the front end uh, it's got Porsche Dynamic Light System Plus. So that's these incredible lights with the main beam in the center and the four LED pods either side of that. It's also got dynamic high beam, so that will block out oncoming traffic as you're going towards it. You've got the LED daytime running lights down here and then obviously front parking sensors. And behind that grill, there's some electric vents as well, which is really cool because when you turn the car on, you can actually see those open and close uh, as you're going, uh, uh, going along. Coming around the sides, it's got the 21 inch uh, exclusive design Panamera wheels. So the diamond cut on the faces and gloss black on the inserts. The full color crest is also a cost option. And then the gray Porsche uh, inscribed brake calipers there as well. The wheels go really nicely with the rest of the car because it's also got sort of half of a black pack in terms of the window surrounds and the door handle inserts are all finished in gloss black, which is a really nice feature. And then as it's a platinum edition, the grill on the front of the front arch here is in that sort of platinum finish there as well. And then if you have a look inside the car, we'll show you that incredible interior. So the interior is saddle brown and Luxor beige two-tone interior with American brown walnut trim. It's incredibly beautiful. The steering wheel is also wood trimmed, which is a huge cost option. And we'll talk to you more about some of the interior features as we get around there but you'll see the Luxor beige headlining as well really brightens the interior of the car up. The huge opening glass panoramic roof and it's sort of on the interior split into two sort of roofs. From the outside, it's a huge glass panel and it's really cool to look at. And those metal tread plates with the platinum edition inscribed on them as well. Soft closed doors, which is a really cool feature. You just push the doors too. Privacy glass in the rear three quarters. And then if you have a look in the back as well, heated rear seats in this car as well and lots of space in the back. The rear seats have a control for the sunroof blind as well, so they can shut their half of the sunroof off if they do wish to do so from the rear. It is a five seater as well. You can get five adults in here. And then again, soft closed doors on the rear there as well. You've got this beautiful light bar that goes all the way across the car and it's dark and there's no red lights on it anywhere to be seen. And it lights up the whole way when the car's on. It's really nice. And then the Porsche logo is also in that sort of platinum finish as well, along with the Panamera badging there. And then if I open the boot, electric tailgate, as you would expect. And being a Sport Turismo, it's the sort of estate version of the Panamera. So there's a bit more space in the boot. It's a really nice place to be. And it's a really good looking car. In my opinion, as a Sport Turismo, it's a much better looking car than the standard hatchback. Bit of extra storage under the boot floor. Reverse camera on the boot there as well. The gloss black quad exhaust tailpipes. Again, really nice. A lot of cars have the chrome tailpipes, but we think it looks much better with the gloss black. Rear parking sensors to go with the front, as you would expect. It's also got this really cool deployable spoiler here. So this flicks up slightly when you're going at speed and you can do it manually from inside the car as well. And then we'll jump inside and talk you through some of the interior options as well. So starting on the driver's door card, uh, what I'll do is I'll just turn the ignition on and wind the window down because on the door mirror, you'll see that black section there is actually blind spot monitoring. So that will illuminate orange if there is a car in your blind spot. Memory settings for the 14 way electrically adjustable seats with memory for driver and passenger in the front here. And then all electric power folding mirrors electric windows and then power tailgate buttons there as well and then again the Bose sound system and you've got beautiful ambient lighting around the speakers and in the footwells and in other areas in here as well and I'll turn it on and we'll go through some of the features now one of the key things with this car is being a 22 plate and the last of them and a platinum edition it's got all of the updated steering wheel sat nav infotainment system uh, and everything about it is just the latest of the Porsche generation so electric steering column up and down as well it's all the way up at the moment and then there's a button hidden behind here which gives you heated steering wheel and you'll see from that right hand screen heated steering wheel switched on 
cruise control down on the left hand side here and then your multi-function controls because these displays are slightly configurable so if I flick this wheel up and down you've got all sorts of different things you can see on the right hand side here your temperatures your map g-force etc and you can actually flick over to the left hand side and change what you see inside this dial here as well it's got digital clock or analog clock on the dashboard sorry and this beautiful saddle brown with the contrast luxor beige stitching all the way across just really makes it feel super special in here and then as we touched on this updated infotainment so there's a lot of cars for sale that are 22 plates that actually have the old infotainment system so it's quite important that this has the new one wireless apple carplay and it's a beautifully full screen apple carplay because in some of the older cars it's only half screen on the old system on this system it's full screen apple carplay very high definition screen extremely fast to use and you can flick straight back to the car here as well if i go into assistance you'll see the blind spot monitoring that we talked about there as well and the rear spoiler which I'll extend so you can have a look outside and see what that looks like as well and I, whilst you're out there I will open the roof to show you what that looks like it's just a really really good looking car as the Sport Turismo and then coming back to the sort of center console here all of your aircon controls and your drive mode controls are down here as well so you've got sport suspension traction control and a configurable individual mode there as well heated front seats, heated rear seats we've already mentioned and then this beautiful gear stick finished in that saddle brown leather the cup holders have got these, uh, they're height adjustable and then you can push a button inside so they come up to match the center of the armrest so you can rest your arm on it wherever and be comfortable and then opening up here you've got a wireless phone charger under the center console storage system there and then on the, the last bit on the interior, on the seats, you'll see behind my head, they've got the Porsche Crest embossed in the headrest, which is a lovely feature. Just again, everything adds to just the exquisite specification on this car and just the comfort of it is second to none. And it's honestly the best, best specified car I've had the pleasure of walking around this year. Um, as we touched on, one owner from new, 8,100 miles, the balance of its Porsche manufacturer's warranty until 2025, so lovely to have peace of mind with it and a unique specification, uh, being a Platinum Edition, the last of this generation of Panamera. My name's Ben, I hope the video's helped. Thank you very much for watching.